Okay, let's do this. One contract. Grillmander. A vicious Grillmander has been wreaking havoc in the upper parts of the mountain. What? A Grillmander? No freaking way! Do you know of this creature, Kenrad? Not much, but I know my dad fought one when he was younger. It took him over a minute to beat one. So you're saying this high pain contract is a piece of cake? Let's do it then. You're forgetting his dad is super strong. Which, anything that takes over a minute must also be pretty damn strong. I didn't mean it that way, you tree hugger. My dad crushes most of his foes in a matter of seconds. If it took him over a minute to kill this thing, we're looking at one hell of a challenge here. I know not of your father and his prowess in war, but if you wish to test yourself with your life on the line, there is no better challenge than this one. Are you willing to take this contract? Well, there ain't no reason to chicken out. I'm in. The Grillmander uses both fire and ice at its disposal, so don't rely on the elements too much to win this fight. May the spirits be with you. Okay, teleport. Fortunately, their ends are free. It'll still cause time to pass, though. So yeah, don't want to use it too much, otherwise I'll run out of time to do other important stuff. Oh boy. Higher grounds. Bunch of teaser chests in the middle grounds, and there's still that one inaccessible tree. Oh yeah, do I, do I have, what items do I have? Do I, how many spirit seeds do I have? I have one right now. I don't even have a tree to use it on yet. May want to switch her out. Then I'm getting way too reliant on AOE to do, fight all my battles for me. No. Well, I fought these before, didn't I? Does tornado work on these? I guess it does. I'm gonna use quick jab just to be extra safe. Okay, there's supposed to be two gold nuggets in here. And a silk gauntlet. That's pretty much it. There's also supposed to be some kind of ice cave. Is this one it? What is this? Chomper. Let's just switch to someone else for the time being. There. Yeah, this is the ice cave that we're talking about. There's also mithril ore somewhere around here. Any shiny spots? Yes! Oh no. Now I enter the ice cave, I'm gonna fight against new enemies. Uh, I really need Elric to learn his expert style already. Ow. I wonder if... Uh, Inferno Slash will be effective. Sadly, there is no indicator of where or not you hit an enemy weak point, other than trying to test with similarly powerful skills. Or... 
the heck is over here? Is this an exit? Yeah, looks like it. What the heck is that? Wing cardigan? The non-winged ones are already tough enough. I'm gonna have to burn through some MP potions if I want to survive this. Oh no. Dual smite. Oh, come on. Golden swing on you. Rain of arrows. Arrow storm. Aha, missed. Oh, that's a lot of experience. This will hopefully prepare us for Kindar Tower. Thing is, there's in Kindar Tower you have the option to either duel or not duel some of the bosses there. And obviously dueling them will be much tougher and require higher levels. Okay. I hope I didn't miss any exits, but... I'm just following the guide's directions and trying to grab every item I can. Go north to find a, an explorer gem. Am I are they talking am I in the right map? I don't know. This guide just assumes that everyone knows what it's talking about sometimes. Okay, this must be the north they were talking about. There it is. They're always so well hidden. I just hope they have enough leeway so I can get to the top rank without having to get all the gems. Go east to MG3. There should be another explorer gem hidden somewhere. I see a box hidden down there. Yep. Okay, Greater Magic Defense Rune Stone should also be around here somewhere. Oh no. There's also a tent. This tent is useless. Ice Cave B? This must be the cave. Hmm. Floor gem. Wait, no, I missed this shiny spot. Mithril ore. I see the. I see one of them, but there's an ice puzzle. Whoa, that's a big snake. Oh, oh no. For some reason she has MP regen, I think it's from one of her items, so I mean she can spam her combo move without too much penalty. Okay, I think I see what I need to do here. That's strange, it's not slipping. Maybe it's a glitch. Not that it would matter much since this is, isn't too tough right now. Hmm. Let's see. Incre boost my healing power, but also, uh, also lowers my agility a bit. Hmm. Also lowers my magic attack. Yeah, I don't want to use this for tournaments. It's better for boss battles where I need to stay alive no matter what. How do I get the explorer gem? I probably have to loop around. Southeast is a Diaris crystal. Get out of the way. This. OK. 
Okay, time to explore the rest of the ice cave. Who goes? Whoa, that's a lot of nasty stuff. Yeah, this game is real. This game really makes it hard to use single target attackers, doesn't it? It's got one of them stunned. Oh no, he's stunned Sadius. Dual smite. Let's hope it hits. Someone? No! Oh, well, at least it got someone stunned. That's a start. Take this, you polar bear thing. Is this even the right environment for a polar bear? I don't know. Oh no! That guy can counter! Mithril or Huh? Explorer's gem. Now to go to MG four. Uh, here I guess. He said I'm supposed to be able to. What? Okay, this must be the <coughs> the boss monster. I better go. <coughs> oh man, my throat's acting up again. Uh oh, here it comes. Speed breaker. Damn it, didn't proc. Stun combo. Okay, I managed to buy myself some time. Night's Glow. Destructive Array. Beast Killer. Whoa, that was actually a lot. They're saying shot, please stun. Yes, got a slight stun. Guardian's blessing. This is pretty much his best move. Now what's my next choice here? Freezing shot. Let's see. Elric no longer has haste applied to him. Let's go cast this again. Knockout punch. Smashing punch. Yeah, we managed to, to proc all that. That's nice, I guess. Too bad the odds aren't always so good for me. This probably does not count as a dragon. Blinded. Let's 
see, you still got destructive array. No, Elric still needs that reapplied. Shining Star. Okay, this should finish it off. Ken, you sure Dad beat this thing in less than a minute? Just how strong is he? Yeah. After fighting one of them myself, I now understand why it took him that long. That long? He can't be serious. Anyway, time to head back and collect my gold. Who would have thought you could make such a fortune in mountains? Oh shoot, the me music went away. Anyway, it's time to use up some of these crappy consumables. Really should use these consumables more. Okay. So, where to next? Pretty sure there's no way I can get down from here. Is this supposed to be MG5? I can't tell the directions here. They're, they're just so vague. Anyways, I need to look for a Mithril Longbow. If this contains it, then I know I'm on the right track. Yes. Unfortunately, I kind of outgrew this Longbow a long time ago. Heh, <laughs> get it? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna have to f sell one of these. Okay, next up, this ice cave should contain a few more items. Mithril ore. The heck, there's another exit. What's going on? This game really need. <laughs> Uh, this really just only shows me the outside, so this is a uh, this is a decoy path. Be right back. Okay, there's another path here. It's also a decoy. Wait, did I see anything weird down there? No. No, wait, there was a... I see, that was just a shortcut. Never mind. Mill Owl. Looks like he's freezing out here. Kenra, it seems he's like he's lost. I think we should rescue him. Alright, we're gonna get you somewhere a bit more comfy. Has some rescue. You can now adopt him from the Moralian pet store at any time. I'm gonna need to make. I'm gonna wait until the next game to actually get a pet. Just to, just so I can be. I can pick the best possible setup. Okay. Leave the cave to the northwest. I should be able to find an explorer stone soon. I hope. Um, a bit more specific, please. Oh man, maybe it's upstairs. I see it. Okay, now to enter another ice cave. Which... which one do I want to go into? There's two of them. I really have the worst luck when it comes to escaping. So... 
It's possible they both lead into uh, into Ice Cave D. It's hard to tell because all of them seem to have mithril ores either way. Azine's love. Yeah, this is Ice Cave D. Uh. Sharon's... Cerevic Stone. Ugh. Uh, so or No explorer's gem. What does this go to? Oh, I see. Okay. Ice Wolf. I know Kenra is level 47, I should probably swap him with Sharina. Yeah, that might be a better idea for now. Which are you going this way and you go this way? Okay, let's see what's here. This should be the final ice cave. You cross this to get to the next checkpoint. Good job making it to the checkpoint Garuda. This is the last and loneliest of the three checkpoints. You won't find many others around here, and for good reason. Top of the mountain isn't too far up from here. Yet less than one out of ten mountaineers who come to checkpoint Garuda make it to the top of the mountain. You find some of the strongest monsters in the entire continent if you head up from here. If you're unlucky enough, you may even end up facing Era, the Guardian of Mount Adolin. Anything here? Just greater potions and a few items. Ahem. Welcome to the teleport station of Checkpoint Garuda. As this is the first time you've reached Ahem, this checkpoint, I'm going to register your names in the teleport station. Elric levels up, Adius levels up, Rona levels up. Five Mountain Theater's Crest. Congratulations, you are now at Hem. Registered with Checkpoint Gorilla. Would you like to use your teleportation? Yes. Exchange gems. Contracts. So-called King of the Mountains is no more. I guess the crown will fit me better anyway. Impressive. The thing on Grill Mander is no small feat. Even battle-hardened veterans don't like to go up against one. You have earned your reward. Oh, I almost like crashed there. I'm like I cut off abruptly. Six eight hundred experience, Sharon's and Mountaineer Crest. Level forty-eight. Hopefully that'll give me an edge against Hawk. Promotion. I need to climb to the very top of Mount Adolin to get Grade 4 Mountaineer. Okay. I'm guessing I won't get it. There's gonna be no e new equipment for me either. Oh well.
Um, excuse me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.